Whether you're planning a casual hike or want to camp out in the woods for a week, prepare as much as possible for any issue that may occur. Even if you're in a well-camped area, you never know what may happen in the wild, so it's always better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. With that in mind, this is our list of the best outdoor gear you should keep in your backpack for wilderness survival. A rugged fixed blade knife capable of performing both hunting and bushcraft applications alike. The 2141 OTRW is crafted from a single slab of 7CR17 Movi black coated high carbon stainless steel. The 2141 OTRW weighs in at just 7 ounces and features a razor sharp 3 and 1 quarter inch long drop point designed fine edge blade. The spine of the knife features a jimped thumb ramp that pairs with the integrated finger guard to provide a safe grip when choking up on the handle for cuts that require extra force. A tapered false edge on the spine of the blade drastically increases penetration power. Textured rosewood handle slabs give the 2141 OTRW a classic look and provide a comfortable slip-free grip, allowing for all-day blister-free usage. Ergonomically designed finger cutouts in the handle slabs further enhance the grip of the knife in all weather conditions. A lanyard hole located at the rear of the handle allows for the attaching of a wrist strap for when extra security is desired for tasks such as chopping or skinning. The Copperhead 2141 OTRW rides securely in its very own double reinforced black woven fabric sheath when not in use. Use the durable 3-inch belt loop to carry the 2141 OTRW on any size belt or attach it to gear. Innovative blades for the modern woodsman. This is the old-timer Copperhead 2141 OTRW Full Tang Fixed Blade Knife.
This is our smallest kit designed to be a light and fast solution, ideally for one, maybe two people. Um, and it's really meant to be mobile. This is easily packable. You can throw it in a go bag, throw it in you know, your emergency kit in the back of your car or in your closet. Let's dig into why this is a great solution for being on the move. First up, we've got the Headlamp 330. This is a USB rechargeable 330 lumen headlamp, and it's designed to give you comfortable hands-free lighting. This is really useful for things like wayfinding, moving through your house if all the lights are out, or if you're actually on the go and you need to be out on the road, this is gonna give you really helpful personal illumination. The front bezel tilts downward at four different angles, um, which means you can direct the light where you need it. So it could be really helpful for something like task lighting, cooking a meal, um, looking at a map, or it could be good for making sure that you can see what's underfoot, and again, if you're on the move and potentially in uneven terrain. Let's say that you need less of a headlamp and you need more ambient lighting, the included light diffusing stuff sack is actually gonna transform your headlamp into a hanging light bulb. For supplemental light, we've got the sunlight. This is a 100 lumen solar rechargeable light. So this is one of my favorite items in our prep lineup because it's a great alternative to candles. Number one, it's not gonna melt. Number two, there's no open flame. And number three, it doesn't run out because it's got the integrated solar panels. So this can charge up from the sun during the day and then keep you powered at night. Over here, we've got the Charge 20. So this is a power bank, 5,200 milliamps, good for up to two phone charges, IPX6 rating. This comes in handy because a lot of the time when the grid is down, cell phone towers are actually still functional. So it's a great way to keep in touch with friends and family. And not only can you charge phones, you can charge things like your Headlamp 330, which is USB rechargeable. Lastly, over here, we have a special edition from our friends over at LifeStraw. This is the LifeStraw Original. It is an individual water filtration system. It is literally a straw. You just drink directly from the source and it's gonna filter out bacteria, parasites, and microplastics. This is gonna filter up to a thousand gallons. And so this is a great complement to your energy supply because you are also gonna need personal energy in the way of food and safe water. This is the Versafix from Gerber. The Versafix is a hybrid design combining the functionality of a camp knife and a machete. The robust blade is designed for cutting, chopping, and batoning tasks. The recurved blade geometry near the handle is optimized for whittling and cutting. The weight forward belly area of the blade is designed to handle path clearing and chopping with ease. The spine of the Versafix features jimping specifically designed for batoning, preventing your baton from glancing or slipping off of the blade. The textured, overmolded handle prevents slippage during wet or dry use. Full tank construction adds a balanced feel and strength to the handle. It's available in Versafix and Versafix Pro configurations. Upgrades to the Versafix Pro include a lightweight, skeletonized design with a chiseled finish and a quick-release sheath. The Pro sheath uses a belt loop or lash tabs to mount to a pack. From the trail to the campsite, Versafix is a hybrid that offers durability and versatility. This is the Trango Four Season Tent. Uh, it comes in a two, three, and four person size. This is the uh, three person size, and this is the size we're gonna talk about today. Uh, the Trango Tent is designed for base camp um, on the mountain. Uh, it's full four season tent design. The Trango Tents have been in our line for a long time, and they're classic for mountain hardware. They, it's primarily designed for an extremely strong base camp uh, tent. Uh, the Trango tent uh, has guy out spots around the entire perimeter of the tent. Uh, these are placed at about 18 to 24 inches, which is we find is the is the best location for guying out. There's one on either side, so it allows you to guy out in, in the direction the wind's coming. Also, each guy out spot behind the fly has what we call a direct connect uh, connection so that the fly is actually connected to the pole structure. So if you pull back this fly here, you can see our gated clip uh, clips around a small fabric loop that's on the back side of the fly. The fly is attached to the canopy of the tent with these uh, durable clips. These clips uh, have a ladder lock that allow you to adjust tension. One of the biggest uh, feature changes we did on the Trango tent series this season was we 
uh, changed the front vestibule pole. Instead of it being on the outside of the fly, we put it under the inside of the fly and it fits inside a small sleeve. So this is the canopy of the Trango tent. Uh, the canopy is, it's a free standing design. Uh, the canopy is attached to the pole structure with gated clips for every single clip point. One feature the Trango has that's uh, quite nice is it, the tent is a complete symmetrical design, meaning you can have the large front vestibule on the front of the tent, but if for some reason the wind changes direction, you're actually able to take the fly off, flip it around, and have your large vestibule on the rear of the tent. Uh, on the side of the tent, there is a large uh, ceiling vent that allows you to unzip and ventilate the top of the tent. It also allows you to look out the window in the fly. Uh, the front of the tent has a large D-door design uh, with dual sliders. Having the dual sliders allows you to partially open up the door and vent the top if you need. Uh, when the door is fully open, you'll see it has a full canopy door as well as a full mesh door. Um, each of the doors rolls away nicely uh, and can be secured with the toggles. Mango tents are uh, extremely spacious inside. They have a really high peak height as well as ample uh, volume on the inside. Uh, this is the three person size. You can fit three large uh, wide mats next to each other. The inside also has a, a large amount of uh, mesh storage pockets uh, for drying wet gear. Trango tent is a very well loved tent because it's such a, a unique architecture. It has all the bells and whistles. Um, it's extremely comfortable, has lots of space inside, um, and is extremely durable in all sorts of conditions. Music